My name is David Smith. I'm from Stony Brook. I'm here because I'm totally embarrassed about our uh, government's actions and I hope that people in this country and other countries will be able to see that there are some decent people around who disagree with all of this. And I also want to say, well I've been a citizen here for 50 years, I'm obviously uh, from London. Uh, uh, I, in my childhood I was on the receiving end of shock and awe bombing and anyone who has experienced that will know that shock and awe bombing does not persuade anybody to come round to your point of view. It just makes people more determined to fight you no matter what. That's what it does. And that's what we have done around the world and I'm ashamed of it and that's why I'm here. I'm Rosalie Yellen, I'm from Huntington, and I'm one of the co-founders of Code Pink Long Island. And we're actually, Code Pink is actually celebrating our fourth birthday this year. We started just before, a year before the war, and we're still going. Unfortunately, we are still working on many fronts, um, including stopping the war, stopping the torture, stopping the degradation of our civil rights and liberties. We're bird-dogging Hillary Clinton because she refuses to listen to us and she has been a warmonger for all this time and uh, don't, doesn't even meet with her constituents, um, let alone peacemakers. And um, we're actually holding a, um, a birthday event um, in um, November 4th at the Cinema Arts Center for anybody who wants to come down and watch the film um, The Ground Truth and um, celebrate our fourth birthday with us. So come on down and join us. Hi, I'm George W. Bush and I would like very much to be impeached. I don't know why anybody's, uh, no one's getting it. I keep doing these things, I, I you know, mass murder, I'm taking away your rights, soon you won't be able to take a picture of me, and uh, nobody seems to want to impeach me. Um, you know, I see all these people out here, and I, I hope to be impeached soon, because I deserve it. Thank you. My name is Steven, I'm from Melville. I'm here to protest this illegal, immoral, and unjust uh, occupation of Iraq, this country which I should not have been in in the first place. It's a, it's a diversion for, from the real war on terrorism. Afghanistan was, was a half-hearted effort. We didn't really go, go in full force, and now Bin Laden's on the loose. And, and according to the uh, report, we've created the terrorists, not hindered them. They're emboldened, and they're, they're all, over the, all over the world. They're going to for some big trouble. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nina Uchida. I'm from Patchogue. I'm here because I'm scared. <laughs> I don't like the direction that my country is taking. I'm getting frightened about the erosion of our constitutional rights under the false concept that we have to be in some other country, uh, taking down people, pretending we're bringing democracy there when we're losing democracy here. But more, we're losing all these wonderful young people. I have seven grandchildren, five grandsons, two granddaughters, I don't want this to be their future, that the future should be uh, dying in another country or being maimed or being a soldier. Uh, all these young people should have lived to give our country the benefit of, God knows, we may have scientists or, or anybody here. Why should we waste our marvelous young people on, on, on some horrible, horrible, misguided thing? And we're a part of it, we American people. I think we're the only people who can stop it. I don't know how, but at least standing here with Jakob and you, if that's all, some of it has got to work. It's got to, if the time is right, it's got to stop. It's got to stop. I think all I need to say has already been said. I'm primarily here 
because I consider the invasion of Iraq an illegal and immoral act for which our president, it has to be stated, should actually face trial at the International Criminal Court. It's as simple as that. Hey, what's going on? This is Charlene. I'm from Stony Brook University. I'm a student activist and we're from the Social Justice Alliance, which is a Long Island activist organization. And we're all here as students today to say that we want the troops to come out of Iraq now and that we're opposed to the oncoming war with Iran. If anyone else wants to speak from the group. I'd like to say that it's good for Stony Brook students to interact with the community and it's really a positive thing to be out here. I really enjoy it. <laughs> I'll try. Doesn't hold anything. Well, I'm Alex. I'm a rookie at the Social Justice Alliance at Stony Brook University. I'm here in solidarity with all the people standing up against the Bush regime and all it stands for: greed, authoritarianism, hate, bigotry, and war. Okay. What's your name? <laughs> Maria Beich. I'm Maria Smalls. Why are you here, Maria? Uh, to protest against the Bush regime, Bush and Cheney regime. <laughs> I am also. We're, I'm protesting also against the war in Iraq. I want to. I want to um, say that we do support our troops and we love our troops, but we're against the war. I have a 20-year-old son, and I'm very worried about maybe the draft coming on. And I'm. We're just totally against this war. We believe it's a farce. That's right. I agree. <laughs> she said it. Great. You said it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my name is Reverend Kathy Schuyler. Um, I'm here because I want to make it clear to the world and I want to, to um, encourage others who feel the same way that I do that this is not a government that represents me, the government that stands for torture, that stands for um, war as, a, as even an option, um, that that's not the way that um, we're called to live our lives. So I want to make it utterly and completely clear that um, as far as possible I don't want my world, my country um, to be functioning in this way. So that, that peace is the way that we're called to and the way that we're called to, fall, to solve problems. My name is June, I'm from Northport and I'm here because I saw online that uh, there was a, a day all around the country that people were coming out against the Bush re regime and I want to be part of that. My husband's still in the city working so he's at 14th Street at a demonstration. My kids are in there, uh, my one kid's at school, she's at a demonstration and I'm hoping a lot of my friends and neighbors are in other demonstrations. I think it's real important to come out or to write a letter, call your any kind of elected representative but also come out on the street, come to demonstrations. I think it's so important right now to do something like that. I'm here today because uh, I can't believe what's happening in this country and uh, we have to get the message out and we certainly need to get it out before the election that there has to be a, a regime change and we've got to uh, bring our, our troops home, our 21 more soldiers dead in, in five days. It just can't keep going on and uh, it's very important that we protest. We need to protest. We are two students at Wharton Melville. I'm Alex. I'm Jess. And we're here to drive out the Bush regime. The world can't wait because like torture is really bad and so is a war that's fought for the rich man with the poor man's blood and sweat. And that's not cool. Yeah. Um. It's really cool that a lot of people are here. And Alex said before we should have a day of mass resistance every day. I'm a man of peace. 
I never meant for my invention to become an atomic bomb and to destroy all of life. And I regret that terribly. And I think war, I know that war is an abomination and inexcusable. And if this regime in Washington doesn't end the war soon and bring the troops home, there will be such catastrophe that we, we just can't imagine. Thank you. The illegal detainment of possibly innocent so-called combatants doesn't justify the torture and the terror and the politics of fear that the Bush administration voice has a shield that justifies our unmerciful and misguided military policies in Iraq. Uh, I'm Mark Klein from Huntington, New York. I'm out here in Smithtown to uh, protest the offensiveness of the Bush administration. It's offensive in two senses. One, it believes an offense is the only way to solve a problem. That's a nice word for war. War in Iraq, war in Lebanon, possibly war in North Korea. It doesn't know how to work with other people. It doesn't understand diplomacy. It doesn't understand problem solving. As a result, we're spending six billion a month needlessly while kids are going to school in makeshift trailers in this country. While 18,000 people are dying a year from lack of health care. So the Bush administration believes war is the answer to most problems. Now, the Bush administration is offensive in another way. It has insulted every possible constituency. It has offended scientists with the attitude towards stem cell research. It has offended environmentalists with its disregard for arsenic, with its disregard for protecting the environment, with its disregard to scientific em em uh, evidence on global warming. It has offended women, women's right to choose to choose. It has offended even conservative economists with his disregard for the deficit, for his disregard for the trade deficit, the budget deficit. It's offended the working class by abandoning it and by stacking the National Labor Relations Board with industry hacks. In fact, the only constituency it hasn't offended is the corporate constituency. It's in bed with the corporate media. They're one and the same. It's in bed with corporate pharma, uh, pharmace uh, pharmaceutical industry. It is in bed with the chemical industry. As standards are, and the, of the EPA and the EPA staff is, uh, I was going to say, debased. I would say e-faced, as the faces of scientists are thrown out of these agencies which are meant to protect us, such as the FDA. So, in summary, what I'm saying, I'm out here to protest this offensiveness. It has gone too far. After Nuremberg, you would say, we'd never be arguing, and the Geneva Convention, we'd never be arguing over torture. Well, this administration believes torture is okay. After the Magna Carta and the whole history of Anglo-Saxon law, you would think we'd never be arguing over habeas corpus, to right to have a venue, to make sure that they even have the right person in court. Now you can be held without charges. And this is not just foreigners, which would be wrong also, but Americans can be arrested in the United States, held without charges, indefinitely. In fact, their attorneys can be held. After all, if you're an attorney to a possible terrorist, then you're aiding and abetting terrorism. There's no end to the position this administration has taken, namely, not only is it above the law, it is ready to do away with the law. So again, I find this administration offensive. I find it morally bankrupt. I find it intellectually bankrupt. And I think most people reflecting find it offensive. Thank you. Gene, I'm glad to be here this afternoon with a uh, hundred plus people who are assembled on the uh, curbside Jericho Turnpike at the Smith Haven Mall. And all these people are saying the same thing with slightly different variations. End the war in Iraq, 
bring the troops home now, get rid of this administration that has destroyed America's credibility throughout the world, that has legalized torture, that carries out rendition of people to foreign countries to do torture, all this while at the same time they're presiding over job flight, pension destruction, no money for health care, no money for anything but the making of bombs. So it's very gratifying to get together with so many people representing so many different organizations here on Long Island. It makes you realize the potential for all of these people, each one coming from a different organization, coming together and collectively impacting the political arrangement and perhaps bringing forth something that will give us some hope for an improvement for the future, our future and the future of our children and our grandchildren. Because if things continue this way, their lives will be in serious jeopardy for decades to come. As the uh, uh, release last week of that uh, special document said, it's the policies of this regime that are creating the terrorists. So any thoughts that we're being made safer by what's being done in our name is completely untrue and it must end. Thank you very much for having given me a chance to talk to you and to your viewers. Okay. I'm here because I'm outraged. I'm outraged because there's so many things happening and we're not being told the truth. Um, there are people that are um, have so much problems here in this country and nothing is being taken care of. This is the, one of the richest countries in the world and we are paying our money to, to furnish a, a, a war that's illegal and you know I'm just, it saddens me every time I, I listen to the, the news especially the proactive news that's coming out and they're telling us a lot of things that the regular media isn't telling us it just upsets me to think that there are people out there in this day and age that are being bombed to smithereens. Everything is being taken away from them. I mean, if the roles were reversed, you know, how would we be? What would we do? You, and, and this is what makes me angry. And another thing that makes me angry is that because of the lack of information, a lot of people here do not know uh, what their government is doing. They don't really know the truth. And the government's been playing and uh, enjoying the money and uh, furnishing the corporations and God knows what else. And we have no clue. And we're going on living here happy because we're being fed all the things that, you know, right now make us happy. And it just upsets me. It really, really upsets me. And it shouldn't be because, you know, this is a beautiful country and it's the na its name is being, you know, pulled through the... Uh, I don't know, it's just very sad. Thank you. I'm Rich from the World Can Wait. I'm here to organize this demonstration uh, of Long Islanders that are fed up with the Bush regime. 
Uh, this is one of 250 demonstrations going on nationwide. Uh, people are getting fed up with the, with the uh, regime of George Bush and we're here to say we're not taking this anymore and we need to do something. People got to get up and join us and drive this regime out. Thank you. I'm here because I think the Bush regime needs to go. And that's basically it. They lie to us. They're not doing any good for us. They're fighting a useless war, which is created all around lies. And also, I think we all deserve a lot of answers and truth about what really happened on 9-11 instead of what we're being told. And I think they need to answer a lot of questions for people. And that's it. They need to go. They need to stop lying. They need to be out of office. That's it. I'm opposed to the Bush regime and their latest uh, destruction of the Bill of Rights. I think th this debacle in Iraq and Afghanistan is bankrupting the Treasury, is bankrupting us morally, is destroying our reputation around the planet Earth. I think Bush and his cronies have to be removed from office. I would like to see them all tried for high treason <coughs> for destroying the Bill of Rights. That's why I'm here. Uh, my name is Tom Minch. I'm from uh, around here, Lake Grove. Uh, I'm here because I, I observe that, I observe, I mean, it's, it's becoming quite apparent that Bush is taking away our liberties. He's, he's, he's made a policy of saying that he as president can put anybody secretly in jail for as long as he wants without any trials, without uh, uh, any notification of anybody. Uh, he, of course, on the other hand, he's also promoting torture. He's probably at this point one of the world's biggest, most notorious torturers. Uh, he has uh, obviously started <laughs> and have wars all over the place. He seems to think that he can get rid of evil in the world by threatening everybody with guns and killing and bombs and everything else. He's a religious fanatic, as, as bad as they've, we've ever had them. And that's why I'm here, because America does not need such a person, and does not need such a person as president. <laughs> yeah, we're here um, for the demonstration, the world can't wait. And that's exactly what it is. The world can't wait for the Bush regime to, go, to get out, to get out now. Gene? Yes, and uh, actually everybody should listen to their public access channels where a lot of this news is getting out, it's being recorded. Um, I also have a public access channel, it's on Woodbury Cable, channel 20, it's on 3.30 p.m. on Monday. And we also have another one on Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. And you'll see Gandhi on there, the Gandhi tribute that was done in Hapag uh, to gain world peace and to promote just causes. And there's also music because we also believe that people need to have inner peace as well. And by coming to an event like this, we can appreciate and res res respect each other and work for the common good. But we felt it was very important that we take responsibility for what's happening. We feel we can't wait until the election and we don't feel that elections are necessarily going to solve it. We think people have to get out in the street and let, and let their objections to current policies be known. So we heard that this was happening on Long Island. Originally we were going to go to the city and we thought, no, there's a, a movement on Long Island that needs to be seen and needs to be heard and we want to join with that. So we came here today. We're very glad to see how many people came and how many people honked in support. Unfortunately, there were a few people who raised their middle fingers, but we just gave them the peace sign back. We feel we don't want to respond to aggression with aggression. We want peace, and we want peace even in our personal relations with people who don't agree with us. So it was a great opportunity to get out and get that heard and join with other people and maybe form a stronger movement and maybe change the world. And short people unite. <laughs>
Hi, my name is Robert, and I also have a public access television show on Channel 20. There are a number of people here that come to do exactly this, which is to get the message out to a lot of people who can't be here and who should see it. Mainstream media refuses to cover events like this. Channel 12 could be here. They chose not to be here. They were called if they wanted to come. So I think the important thing is those of us who believe the way we believe about ending the Bush uh, regime as soon as possible um, will be here in demonstrations to let our voices be heard. But the important thing is that I learned today and I, I felt today for the first time is that we're not going away. This is not just one demonstration. We're going to keep this up until it has impact. And of course it's going on. It makes me feel good to know what's going on all across the country right now in other cities. And I'm anxious to see the coverage for that. So uh, thanks for having me on your show. I look forward to being here at the next demonstration so you can photograph me again. Thanks. Bye. Um, looks like we're winding down this evening. We